Hello, welcome to another video. So, in one of my other videos, I received a question about changing a pair of uh, black color shoes into red. And it's usually a lot easier to go from lighter to darker than it is from dark to light. So in all my other videos, I've been using uh, dye, um, alcohol-based dye, to dye the shoe after stripping it. Going from black to red, that's really not going to work. So what I'm going to experiment in this video, and I've never done this before, so this is going to be fun, is I'm going to turn this into spectator shoes. I'm going to... Um, change the the color of the uh, toe area i'm gonna use a uh, burgundy acrylic leather paint on this shoe and i'm going to use a uh, flat white on this shoe and we're going to see um how good of a result we get from them and this is just uh, angelus is the uh, maker of these uh, paint and I'm going to start with the burgundy and this thing comes with an applicator um, if you're not doing the whole shoe you may want to put uh, tape on the parts that you don't want painted um, I don't mind if I have a little bit of a uh, um, overshoot, I guess, of these shoes, so I'm not going to mask them. I'm going to start doing the edges and then I'll do the interior. So here you see the result of one coat of the red, one coat of the white. You can see the brush strokes quite a bit. Now again, this is the first time that I use acrylic paint and I also use the, um, the applicator that comes with the uh, bottle. On the white, the white was actually a lot thinner uh, paint. I can't see brush strokes, but obviously the coverage is very uneven. That one I did with my own brush. So I'm going to give it another coat. Um, neutral neutral wax I don't have white polish or I would apply a white uh, shoe cream So that's the result for the white. Again, don't look at the edge. This is not about the edge. 
on how well I can make a uh, spectator shoes. This is really just about the coverage and this is the coverage that you get with four coats. So this is four coats of the white on a black shoe. And this looks pretty good. So depending on your taste, between four, between four and five coats. But I think I think this is good. I think with four is good. Okay, let's uh, look at the burgundy. And for the burgundy, I actually have burgundy shoe cream. And that's the red. This was two coats. So what have I learned from the first time of using acrylic paints? Um, there are a few things that I've learned. One is that these paints come with different, different levels of dilution. This one is pretty watery. This one is pretty thick. Uh, this one has more the, the the burgundy has more pigment than the white uh, at least in the bottle that I that I got but the white was more diluted um, as far as color saturation the color came out uh, well I felt I had more control with the white one um, I had to apply four coats but I don't see uh, any brush strokes Whereas the brush strokes are pretty heavy on the red. So what I would do, there are a few things. Use your own brush. Don't use the brush that comes with the, uh, with the applicator. And if you notice that the paint is pretty thick, I would, I would dilute it before using it. I'd rather apply four or five coats but have good control and no brush strokes than this. This shoe, I, I would not wear this. The, the brush strokes are just too thick here. So I would have to remove this and do it again. Whereas the white, the white I would wear. I, I don't see any, any brush strokes. This, this is good. Okay, well, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. This is, again, a video of someone who's never done um, acrylic paint on leather, just uh, experimenting and finding out what we learn. Thanks for watching.